there, in this video, I'm gonna be sharing how to make a quick coffee themed inspired card using the Simply Cards and Paper Craft issue 177 free gift. So in this free gift, we have a five piece die set, 13 stamps and a two in one stencil. And these work together so well, they're really fun and you can make so many things, not just feminine cards, but also masculine makes. So let's jump into the tutorial. To start off my card, I have two pieces of cardstock, one in aqua and one in orange, and I've die cut these with a frame, a nesting frame die set. And I have these ready to go so that I can use my coffee break stencil on them. I'm gonna use the leafy part of the stencil so that I can stencil on the upper half of this cardstock. I want to use this wonderful, it's not a texture paste, but it has a great body to it. It's the Glitter Kiss by Cosmic Shimmer, and this is in the color Frosty Sparkle Kiss. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on my spatula, and then I'm going to just go across with my spatula on this stencil. And I want a thin layer, nothing too crazy, but if you do want to thicken it up a bit, then you can definitely add a second layer to this and get some extra dimension. But I'm just doing a thin layer. I just like the sparkle that it leaves and the texture of it. It's gonna be really fancy. I really love the Glitter Kiss by Cosmic Shimmer. It's just a great medium to work with, especially with stenciling. Okay, now that I'm done, my stenciling looks a little bit like this, so you can see that raised texture, but also it has a nice little sparkle to it. So I'm gonna lay this aside and let that dry. I also wanna use the coffee bean pattern on my stencil. I think it's really cute. And I just love this theme because who doesn't like a nice cup of coffee? Now for this, I'm gonna be using my Distress Inks by Tim Holtz, and the color I'm gonna use is wild honey and i'm going to use a mini ink blending tool to just add some color right on top i'm putting some color on my mini ink blending tool and i'm just going to color right through the stencil and i want to make sure to not get any of the leafy pattern of my stencil on on my cardstock so i'm being very careful when i get to this little edge here where the coffee bean pattern ends because i don't want to get any leafiness on this part of the cardstock so there we can see what that looks like. And now I'm just gonna move my stencil down just a smidge. And I'm going to stencil the rest of my cardstock. Okay, so now I have a nice coffee bean pattern on the orange cardstock and I can move on to the next step. Next, I wanna stamp my coffee cups. So I love these coffee cups, they are so cute. And what I'm gonna do is just mount my stamp onto the block and I'm gonna be using some VersaFine ink in onyx black, I love this stuff. And I'm going to stamp two coffee cups. So I stamped two coffee cups here. And since these are a little bit plain, I wanted to continue using this stencil just because it has such a nice pattern. And what I'm gonna do is take the same Wild Honey Distress ink and use my mini, mini, <laughs> my mini ink blending tool. And I just wanna leave a nice pattern on this coffee cup. So I'm concentrating on the lower portions of my coffee cup. And then when I lift that up, it just leaves a nice little pattern. Now I'm gonna do the same thing to this coffee cup, but instead of orange, I'm gonna be using broken china. And again, just putting some color right through the stencil. And if I go over the edges of the coffee cup, like I did here, that's fine because I'm gonna be cutting these out in just a little bit. I'm gonna do a little bit of fussy cutting around my stamped coffee cup, and then we can move on to the next step. Now that I've stenciled on this fun pattern onto my coffee cups, I'm just gonna fussy cut my coffee cups with some scissors. I wanna add a little bit more color to my coffee cup, so I'm gonna take some Distress Ink and Pumice Stone, and I'm just gonna go around the edges, just right here, just add a little bit of gray to the edges of my coffee cup. I feel like it makes them pop just a little bit more. It's kind of like an impromptu shading of my coffee cup. Gives it a distressed sort of look. So I'm just adding just a little bit of gray. And again, this is Distress Ink in Pumice Stone. Now I wanna add 
this little protective carton holder that comes with your coffee cups. And to do that, I'm gonna take a piece of craft card stock and I'm going to heat emboss it in white. And I'm gonna take this pattern, which matches the stencil, but on a smaller scale. And then I'm gonna take my Nuvo Clearmark embossing pad and I'm going to ink up my stamp and then just stamp it right onto the craft colored cardstock. I need two of these. <laughs> Let me do a third just in case my embossing isn't completely perfect. And now I'm gonna grab a scrap piece of paper and my white embossing powder. And this embossing powder is from Cosmic Shimmer. So Creative Expressions in True White. Shake off the excess and we have a nice pattern for our coffee cup holder. Now I'm going to melt my embossing powder with my heat tool. Now that my embossing has cooled, I'm going to cut these out and add them to my coffee cups. This tutorial is making me really want a cup of coffee. <laughs> Next, I'm going to die cut this steam shape out of some gray cardstock, and that little steam die is right here. It's so cute, right on top of the coffee lid. And I'm gonna do that out of some gray cardstock, and then I'm gonna glue that onto my card front in just a bit, and I've kind of arranged it so that it looks like a heart coming out of the coffee cup, which I thought was really cute. Now it's time to assemble my card now that I have all my pieces, so I'm going to trim this cardstock with the coffee bean print right about there just so it's half and half of the floral I'm sorry the leafy pattern and also the coffee bean pattern so let me grab a paper trimmer and I can trim that up now I'm going to take my tape runner and put a little adhesive on the back and then layer that right on top of the aqua cardstock Before I move on, I wanted to add one more sentiment from the Coffee Break gift set, and it's hope you perk up soon. And I'm just gonna stamp that right on this little corner here using some Versamark ink again. So there's my ink, and let me make sure the stamp is nice and straight. And then we're just gonna put that right on this corner here. I wanted to add a piece of gray ribbon here right across the center to cover up that seam. And to do that, I'm gonna use some double-sided tape. Where is the little, there it is. There's the beginning of it. It's always so tricky to find that on the tape sometimes. So I'm just gonna lay a little strip of tape right about there and trim that. And I'm gonna wrap it along the back and then I can remove the release paper and add my ribbon. There we go. Then with the rest, I'm gonna tie a little bow just like there so I can add that. I like to add a bow to my cards if I can. It just adds a cute little feminine touch to it, which I appreciate, but definitely optional. It's completely up to you. Set that aside. As I'm gluing everything down, you'll notice that I'm using a few a combination of adhesives. So I've used the double-sided strong red liner tape for my ribbon. I'm using foam tape for my coffee cups. I'm using some liquid adhesive from a Cosmic Shimmer. So Creative Expressions has this great acrylic glue which dries quickly and dries clear. So just a few different types of adhesive to bring my project together. The last thing I'm gonna do is add my card front to my card base. And my card base is just a tent fold card that I made from some card stock and I've sized it so that it has a little, leaves a little border around my card front. So just let me add some glue to that and then I will be done. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial using your free gift from Simply Cards and Paper Craft issue 177. There are some more great ideas inside the issue, so don't forget to grab your copy.